Hey guys, this is the Tunator, and this is Fallout New Vegas Mods of the Week, episode 19. So I got five cool mods for you today. Uh, the first one I'm going to show is the Poco Bueno Texture Pack, sent in by the uh, user Turd of Death. <laughs> Sorry, it's a funny name. And uh, anyway, so this what this is is it's a collection of I believe individual texture packs, and I think like a 1024 by 1024 resolution, which is like double that of the normal game. And I, it basically ramps this ton of stuff, like in building sides, you can look at it here, it looks, uh, much better. Kind of, so the streets themselves are really noticeable difference. These look way better than the default streets, much more rugged, much higher detail. Again, look at that, uh, the detail is, uh, way better. Look at the, the, uh, street lamps are another one. You can see, uh, the walls of the old Mormon fort itself. Again, much higher resolution, much better looking. Go around uh, to show you. Cars are another really noticeable example. You can uh, just kind of look at that to see how much better that detail is. <laughs> and that's uh, someone you'll be meeting shortly. Uh, and yeah, this is just a mod that really overhauls the uh, the aesthetic looks of the game in general. And don't believe those from the texture packs. It's, it's kind of hard to tell what is and what isn't from a distance sometimes, but uh, once you get a closer detail, it's really noticeable. And overall, uh, as I mentioned, this just really serves to really kind of make the take the game to the, the next level visually. Uh, for those of you who have stronger PCs, you do need to have a better PC to run this because obviously the the detail is way greater. But uh, if you can, I believe he has texture packs going up to like uh, 4096 by 4096 in quality, which is like I don't know what eight times the fidelity of the normal games. So uh, again, just give me a look, which is pretty insane. So uh, if your computer can run it, definitely check them out because they take up a lot of memory space, but they make the game so beautiful. You can look, you can see like all the individual orbits on the floor there. Very, very, very cool stuff. See, so that kind of just gives you an idea of it. Uh, it's obviously, it's lady? very difficult to encompass all Come the, uh, Mick and Ralph for all your the changes needs. this adds because it's, like, it's a comprehensive texture pack. But basically, this gives you a, a bit of an idea, especially with the roads, of just how much better this makes the game look. So, if you've got a computer that can comfortably uh, already run this on like uh, max settings, or if you're willing to drop the settings to compromise in order to get the texture pack, then absolutely, I would recommend getting this because it's just this, uh, visually nothing short of gorgeous and really helps make the game look better because the engine is starting to show its age a little. The second mod I have for you today is uh, was sent in by a YouTube user Rylan Uzumaki1. If anyone else had this in, uh, and I forgot it, I apologize. But uh, And if you've been watching my Let's Play, uh, you'll know who this is. This is the uh, custom companion mod, Willow, a better companion experience. which basically adds a, a, a new companion to the game with over 600 lines of dialogue, current quests, uh, um, personality, stuff like that, and she really is uh, quite good. She's uh, funny, or uh, she, if you, obviously it's a bit of subjective opinion, but I, I personally find her pretty well written, and the, the voice acting is quite good as well. She's fully voice acted. So I'll show you. She's got the companion wheel integration and everything, but uh, hey there. Just pull up some, uh, some talk to her for a bit. Uh, can I ask you some personal questions? Sure, I don't mind. Uh, what got you interested in traveling? I grew up in Oregon. My oh, family runs a motel that lots of caravans and sometimes travelers come through. So, I spent my childhood listening to stories of life on the road. I can't remember a time when I didn't want to leave and live out those stories. Are you from the Mojave? Will you be able to fill me in on details as we travel around? Or are you a newcomer like me? Why is that? It seems easy enough to me. Either you're from here and you know the Mojave, or you're not and you don't. Right? That's fair. That's terrible. Who shot you? Was it an accident? <laughs> oh, of course it was an accident. But why? Accidentally shot on the head That's and left for dead. So cruel. So how did you survive a shot to the head that damaged you so badly? Do you know who shot you? Good. All right, so that just gives you a. Uh kind of a, a basic idea of the voice acting, which is really uh, quite good. You can see she's got a... Trade. Most, and she's, I've you got over like uh, 600 lines total, which uh, fully lip-synced, as far as I can tell for the most part, which, speaking as someone who's currently working on uh, lip-syncing uh, and 
adding uh, voice uh, voice lines myself, not not done personally by me, but by somebody else to my own mod. I can uh, say that that is an absolutely tremendous amount of work. Many hours have to be devoted to that because you have to bounce files back and forth between the Oblivion uh, version of the GEC and then the actual GEC, and it's a real pain in the ass. Uh, a lot of work has been put in this mod. Uh, don't doubt that for a second. It's definitely uh, been a real labor of love for whoever made it, and the re it really does show because this is a really quite a good companion. She's got her own weapon, uh, as you see on the back there. Over here, uh, Hunter, if I just point at the screen, too much. well, you guys can't see me, so that's not really going to hell much, is it? And yeah, so overall, she's uh, definitely got a lot of personality. Uh, again, 600 lines, I believe most or all of them, fully voice acted by the, I think, the creator of the mod. And overall, just uh, quite cool. As someone who's a big fan of companion mods, I really think this is uh, definitely one uh, one of the better ones I've ever really seen. Uh, so definitely worth checking out. And she's uh, quite good for characters who kind of take a more diplomatic bent, and she gets a ton of your speech and charisma. So if you're a... Uh, like me and you like negotiating rather than uh, shooting your way through everything. Definitely someone you want to have on your team because uh, she's really quite cool. Uh, the next uh, thing I mod I have for you is uh, it's a weapon mod. It's called the Cavalry Revolver mod. Uh, this was sent in by uh, Mr. Tupid Kickass, I believe. Sorry if I just butchered that. Uh, let me know and I'll correct it because I have some of yours to plan on doing in the future. And basically this adds a really, really cool looking uh, revolver to the game. You can see I'm zoomed in on right now. This is a it as it comes, you know, no mods to make it look better or anything. Uh, this is just the weapon itself. And it is really, really cool looking. You can see kind of that uh, gold filigree on the, the barrel there. Uh, very, very nice stuff. It's uh, hidden away and nipped in actually, which for those who've been watching my Let's Play, you saw me get jumped by the, uh, the, the guys when I went upstairs and they need the general store. This is them, they're carrying this, and it's really just a pretty sweet weapon overall. You see uh, down the barrel there, as if you like uh, you know, the western revolvers, stuff like that. This is very cool. This kind of should be firing in first person view as well. And uh, t t it's actually quite powerful, I don't know if you saw, but it's something that's in the order of 60 damage. So my lovely assistant Veronica with uh, 310 HP will demonstrate the full strength of this weapon at point blank range. Yeah, two shots and she's down. So uh, let's try. Well, it's got a bit more HP, but oh. still. Hey, I could use a hand over here. Yeah, that's not gonna happen, sorry. What'd I miss? So yeah, you can see very, very strong weapon. Uh, I'm sure you can edit the damage values if you think it's too powerful. But overall, a nice end game weapon. The guys you have to fight for are actually quite tough, so it's not like you can just roll them and nip in at like level 6 and grab it. Because they will hand your ass to you on a platter. But very cool. Uh, again, just zooming on this, you can see the detail is just absolutely beautiful. And, uh... Definitely something uh, I would recommend if you're into the uh, guns at all, because this is just an absolutely gorgeous weapon. I really, really like that gold, uh, uh, the filigree engraving, especially. It's very cool. Stuff we're not even and then the next mod I have to show is uh, also sent in by the Turret of Death. It's the uh, New Vegas Restoration, I believe, and it overhauls the uh, the strip to basically look, uh, you know, nice and, and clean and built up like it like it actually would if uh, theoretically Mr. House had been ruling there with a whole group of supporters for decades. Because what bothered a lot of people, and which I can understand, is that the... Oh, you can also see some of the textures here as I'm going by. You know, just getting really good stuff. But anyways, what bothered a lot of people about this strip, which I can understand, is that uh, it just didn't look like, you know, it, it was kind of like the pinnacle of New Vegas civilization. It looked kind of like a piece of crap, which uh, I didn't really have much of a problem with because I like the post about the divide, but I can absolutely get, understand the argument that, well, if, you know, if House is in power here, this, this should be nice, this should be built up, this should look good, and it, it shouldn't look like, you know, and CR and Legion just had a you know, full-on war in the middle of the city, so, what this does is it just totally revamps it, you can see that's kind of like the fortified gate here, I'll go inside, you see, it'll just, uh, it's all nice and pretty and happy, and uh, generally looks much more like a, the glimmering beacon in the desert uh, that it once was, than the kind of run-down, you know, dump that it, it is in, Vanilla. So again, uh, if you prefer the, uh, the general aesthetic style of you know post-apocalyptic and wreck, this isn't really something you're gonna want. But if you want, if you feel like the strip should have looked a lot better than it actually did, you can kind of just see 
what it does and the sound is everywhere. It's probably going to stutter a little uh, because it ha I have the t all these texture packs on and it uh, fully opens the strip. It does this also will do the same thing as the strip open and make the the uh, whole strip in one self or continuous area. So just bear that in mind. It's going to look a little or it's going to be a little laggy probably. You should you can see, see this that. Place at night. Actually, that's a good idea now that you mention it. Random gambler slash NGR soldier makes a valid point. Let's uh, take a look at it at night as well. My buddies at Camp McCarran are breathing easy now, now that the Fiend's leader is dead. And I do have Dark Knights on, but this is it's cool. You can see, even though I have a Dark Knight mod for Electro City, there's just so much light here that it's still perfectly bright, which, again, is really as it should be. But, yeah, you can see overall... Uh, it's very nice. Again, I think these roads are from the, the Poco Bueno texture pack, but the strip overall, it's nice and clean. There's crap everywhere, you know. I believe these sewers are redesigned as well, and I think this mod also contains a segment for the Sierra, uh, the Sierra Madre Casino in Dead Money. So, yeah, overall, just uh, quite a cool mod that really makes the strip uh, look very nice as opposed to just you know, a little run down. So, Depending on your perception of how it should be, this is if you think it should have looked a lot better than it actually did, this is definitely a mod for you. And then the last mod that I have to show you is the uh, Dog City Denver mod, which is a kind of like a quest mod that adds a new area to the game and comes highly recommended. So what I wanted to do is actually play through the first few minutes of it with you right now, just so you can kind of see how it starts off. As I will. Uh, also not sure if there's any if I would uh, necessarily be able to get back to show you all the other mods once I start that. Uh, so anyways, what you do is you kinda get this note and you go to this guy's house in Freeside, Mr. Mr. Rogers or Rogers or something. I'm still hoping for a Mr. Rogers neighborhood reference, but unfortunately the ad seems slim. And uh again, just kinda taking a look at all the, uh, the what the texture packs do here. Very, very, very cool stuff. One of those ubiquitous freeside thugs. If I had the kill cam on, I'd probably see Veronica punching his head 40 feet through the air right now. I have the cavalry revolver out there, too, and I'm getting shot off. That's a full on firefight right there. Hmm. And also, uh, to talk about a little bit more, I think she does have a several quests attached to her. She has a quest when you first get her, which is like she's south of the uh of the the uh Nevada police or highway patrol station where all the, the I think jackal gang members are. And then she can also be found in uh Sorry about that little jump, had a tiny crash. Uh, I've been having that uh, a lot of recently on loading screens, actually. Uh, got to run it down. Uh, someone suggested it might be increased wasteland spawn, so I'm going to take a look at that. But, uh, yeah, again, my apologies for that. I'm going to investigate what's causing that. So, anyways, let's go uh, check out Dog City Denver. It's been like 8 or 10 minutes or so just looking at this. Well, this does not bode well at all. Oh, uh, of course. Oh god, I wonder if she's gonna follow me. Actually, I should tell her to wait here. Okay, I'll be right here. Waiting. For you. Oh god, why? The basic premise of this is that you're taking to a whole new area and made to kind of uh, work. And yep, I'm gonna sell. Hopefully, I don't get raped. So you're awake. Good. I've heard of your reputation. That's why I brought you here. I need someone like you. It's in your best interest to help me. For whenever your usefulness wears out, you're dead. Kill her. I'm sending you to Denver. They call it Dark City now. You'll find out why. Though your task may be difficult, the goal is simple. Kill Porter. Hulk smash. When your task is complete, return to your point of arrival, and I'll make arrangements for your return. 
Oh, and be warned. <laughs> The of city course. is surrounded by There's radioactive dust storms. Try to escape on foot, and you're toast. Literally. But it sounded so nice. Yeah, I told you that there are apparently there's there's dogs everywhere here. So. What? Oh, he <laughs> shot me in a rocket. That's awesome. Alrighty, so where am I going now? Uh. I assume I don't have any of my gear because that'd be way too easy. Yep, I'd probably teleport. We're all here, but oh, he left me my armor. That's nice of him. No weapons though. Uh, hockey that so I don't die while filming this. Doctor's bag. Yeah, that also act that actually did kind of bug me about that money. It's like, well, I mean, could he just leave me my armor? And let's see, I assume I get into this pipe actually. Yeah. Presumably about to be wrecked by crazy Oh my god, evil rats. Have at you. Fortunately I am an unarmed slash melee specialist, so come at me, bros. Ah, ooh, this is not fun. Mm, mm, get some. Mm, yeah. Mm. Looks like this is gonna be my time to shine, uh, with an arm then. Got him. Is this like a freaking monstrous giant rat or something? Die. There we go. Ah, oh, he's running scared. That's what I thought. Got a rep now. Whatever, let's run to the ladder. I don't really care about this. <laughs> Sorry, guys. See you later. Well, I am fervently hoping that in Skyrim ladders are actually climbable because it's always a little depressing when they're not. Uh, alrighty. So, time to get raped by dogs. Hopefully, not literally. Yeah, as everyone's up in these buildings, and the dogs, uh, kind of run the streets. I have no doubt I'm going to find out why it's called Dog City uh, first hand real soon. But until then, we will explore. And uh, I'm hoping to get a better router uh, tomorrow actually, so once I do I should be able to upload much faster, which means that if I can, I can actually maybe do Let's Plays of stuff like this and my normal uh, New Vegas Let's Play concurrently. Awesome, because right now it takes me about an hour to an hour and a half to upload a 20 minute video my internet's real crappy but if I can get it better uh, and I can uh, shorten that time then I can upload a lot more a day which means I can actually afford to do a couple of let's plays concurrently because I'll have the, uh, the kind of time to do so oh this guy looks badass let's talk to him Go talk to Uncle Jim. I'm who the busy. hell is Uncle Jim this guy I assume the badass hat welcome stranger where did you come from? There aren't many faces around here, I don't know. I was sent to kill somebody. From the looks of it, you came right out of the storm. So my next question is, how did you make it through? To quote the insane clown posse, pure motherfucking magic. A man called Rogers sent me here in a rocket. Rogers has left Denver? How the hell did he manage that? Tell me. Where exactly is this rocket? Thank you. Uh, I'll send Ken <laughs> to investigate. Right Thought that was coming. You. Oh. This, yeah, this guy's gonna. Oh crap! Yeah, they got a lot of these men. Come at me, bro. Actually, let me do a, one of those. I'm trying to do one of those freaking power strikes, but it won't let me. Oh well. <laughs> yeah, I figured I was gonna get jumped by these guys, but you know, what are you gonna do? I'm too honest in these games for my own good. I think I still have a ton of turbo from the Oh my god. Maybe this thing actually is.
I have a feeling this is probably not the optimum way to do the quest, but... Let's see. I should probably kill this guy and take his hammer. Turbo. Yeah, I still have a ton from doing that Deathclaw video, so... Sledgehammer, please. Nah, we're in business. Get at me. Of course, this might fail or fail the entire quest, but let's see. I'll do this for a couple more. And yeah, it's the uh, pro probably the drugs are bad mod making it all loopy there. Is this the way I came? If it is, I'm gonna be very upset. Yeah, it totally is, isn't it? Or maybe not. I don't know. I'm really discombobulated right now. Oh, was that a dog? Yep, this is. Damn it. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm pretty dumb. Anyway, so yeah, you can just tell by looking around, this is a very, very interesting kind of world that they've built here. It reminds me actually a lot of the... Oh, God, why? Uh, you're a dead man. Thank God I specialized in unarmed and had turbo, is all I'm going to say. Wait for that, buddy. Also, why would they call me a dead man? I'm clearly a woman. Anyway, so yeah, that's uh, a bit of a view of the mod there. I think I'm gonna cut in a sec. Obviously, that's not as it's really intended to play be played. I I don't think. But anyways, it just kind of, kind of gives you an idea of just what this looks like and the basic storyline and. Most importantly, what not to do when you play this, uh, <laughs> because then you get killed. So anyways, uh, I definitely recommend checking this out. I'm absolutely going to play through this myself, uh, fully. Might actually, uh, even, uh, do a video of that if the mood strikes me. But anyways, obviously not with murder everyone. But, uh, this has been Mods of the Week 19. As always, uh, send suggestions, comments, uh, things like that if for any uh, mods you might like me to do. Uh, I get uh, a lot of my mods, or you know, uh, most of them, the initial suggestions from uh, viewers uh, nowadays, so uh, definitely just send in anything you think is cool. I'm always uh, glad to check out a new mod, and uh, I'll try and respond to every message I get. It may take a bit, but uh, I will uh, attempt to get back to you if at all possible. So anyways, uh, again, this has been Mods Week 19. This is a Tunator. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all later.